Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. Today we are going to learn a very important uh, topic also and this is one of those interview questions that is often asked when you are attending uh, Angular or in general for RxJS. The question is what is the difference between from operator and off operator? So we'll learn about that. Uh, we learned about the from operator and off operator in the last two episodes in detail. We did some hands on. Today I'm going to talk about the difference, uh, which one should be used where and such like that. Let's get started. This is part seven of the RxJS full tutorial playlist. Make sure you check out the, all the episodes so that you can really learn and master RxJS with me. If you like my work, please do subscribe to my channel. Please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. Thank you in advance. All right, so today we are in the episode number seven. Today we are going to learn difference between from operator and off operator. So both operators from and off operators are creation operators, which means we can create an observable from using these two operators. Using the difference being that from operator will always take an um, will create from an array or an array like object. Okay, that's the main difference. <coughs> of operator, you can create an observable using a string, object, or an array. So basically, you can create an observable out of anything using of operator. But with from operator, you can only pass an array or an array like object. Now that's the main difference. Now what are the use cases? So let's say you're doing some kind of a data transformation, right? Or you have some logic which returns you, um, say you have an array of 20 elements, you extract, let's say 10 out of it, and then now you want to pass it to a HTTP uh, pipe or something like that. So you need to send that array as an observable. That's where you will use from operator. So most of the cases you would probably be end up using from operator in your applications because Array manipulation is something that's most common. But that being said, please do consider that if you get an object or a string, you can still make an observable out of it and that is using the off operator. So here you can see three examples. This is an observable of type user, which is using off because this is passing an object. The second example, you have an observable of type string, which is using again off operator. But when you want to pass an array, you can either use off or you can use from. Both can be used because both will take array, but off will also take string and object. This is a very important difference because when you get to practical things, you will definitely most likely need uh, to, to differentiate between which one to use. All right, so that was a quick uh, difference because that is one of the most frequently asked questions. So I thought I'll just touch base quickly on that. All right, so in the next episode, I'm going to cover another operator, which is called from event. Very important because when you do uh, binding with events and all that, you will require this particular operator heavily. So stay tuned for that. I'll roll out that in the next episode. And yeah, stay tuned for it and keep supporting. Thank you again for your support.